So raise your hand if you've ever seen the wind before. You've seen you've seen the wind or you've seen the wind move something? You Ah, so you can feel the wind blow your hair back. It might look something something like this. Or maybe you've seen a tree get kind of rustled, the leaves move or dust moves on the ground. Well, we're going to learn why air actually is moving. And it has to do with something called air pressure. So we have all these air molecules. You can't see them, but they're all around us right now. And so if we have more air molecules in one area, you have a higher air pressure. There's literally more stuff than if you have a low air pressure. They're more spaced out. And air will move from high pressure to low pressure. And that is all you really need to know. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to do three different experiments to understand the movement of air. And thankfully, someone really smart by the name of Daniel Bernoulli in the 1700s studied this. And basically, he determined that air moving faster has a lower pressure. So you gave a hypothesis that the air is moving faster. And that is exactly right. Because when I stand here and do this, and at the very end, I'll, I'll let you guys test this out. So if I start moving it like this, the air out here, is it moving faster or slower than back here? It's moving faster. So when I do this, the air is actually traveling from here and it's going out. And that's what's causing the sound. So depending on the length, you can create different sounds. And at the very end, like I said, I'll jump off the stage and we can practice these together. And then we can start a band. All right, so if you want to try this out at home, a cool experiment you can do, as long as you have permission to use your parents' blow dryer with their supervision, you can practice the Bernoulli principle. If we turn this on and we set the ball, it won't actually blow away. And this has to do with air pressure. So I'm going to take this off and we're going to use a little ping pong ball. So when I set this in the air, the pressure beneath the ball is higher. There's more air molecules getting stopped than up top. So the air literally is kind of going around it to keep it in place. And let's see, whoop. Uh, I was gonna try and catch it. So we have something just like this, just on the other side of this giant pinata called the Bernoulli blowers that you can test this out with these little inflated balls. Now the final thing we're going to do is we're going to use this big vortex cannon. Raise your hand if you've seen that before. Well, this is awesome. I'm glad no one has seen this before. Great. So this is my favorite experiment to do. And what this will show us is this will really show us the Bernoulli principle. You'll get to see it. But I'll have to add some fog because you can't, but you felt that. But no one saw anything. They're like, I don't know what happened because you can't see the wind. So we're going to fill this up with fog, which who knows what fog is? What's fog? Say it real loud. Ah, I like the word you used. You said condensation, which that's totally right. It's a cloud. That's, when you see it outside, it is a cloud just formed near the surface. So we are using fog to help us see what's actually happening with this cannon. So when I hit all the air molecules out, it's going to create a shape. And we'll try to explain why that shape is the way it is. So three, two, one. So you now can see exactly what we were creating without the fog. So who has a guess of why it's this spinning ring? Does anyone have an idea why? Say it real loud. Very good. So you did notice the little hole in the bottom of our super technologically advanced trash can that we have here. That does give it the circle shape, but it's actually spinning. So the reason it's spinning is the air is moving much faster in the center than at the edge. So we have a low pressure in the center, high pressure at the edge, and so that causes the air to travel in towards the center. And so now you guys are 
amateur weathermen and women that can go study the weather outside and know why the wind is moving. So I'm gonna continue doing this at the end of the show. If you guys wanna practice a little whirly tubes, we can practice that too. But I wanna thank you guys for hanging out with me for five-ish minutes. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys.